Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in law and data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding order two columns independently and trying to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Booking.com interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called data with two different columns. First call, second call, there is no primary key for this table and it may contain duplicates. We are asked to write a SQL query to independently order the first column in ascending order and then the second column in descending order. Okay, let's go through this example, right? So we have first column and second column, we have different values. So obviously the output should be one, two, three, four in the first column and then four, three, two, one in the second column, right? And that is what we have. Okay, so now you might be thinking, but why this is a medium difficulty question, right? Don't we have a function called order by and if you want to order by two different columns, you simply write from this table order by first column in ascending order, comma, second column in descending order. Won't that do the trick? actually the, the, there is a problem there so let me you know just write that quickly so that and see run that so we can see like what problem we are getting so from this table called data let's order order by first call right and then second call in descending manner right and let's return both the columns okay let me run this to see what we are getting so if you see, you have one, four, two, three, three, one, four, two. So in the first column, you have one, two, three, four. So that's okay, right? But in the second column, you are having four, three, one, two, instead of four, three, two, one. Why this is happening, right? So basically when you write something like this, right? So what SQL does is it goes row by row, right? So in, in the first column, right? So it will go, okay. Uh, you have uh, ascending order, right? So order by first column in ascending order. So what is the first one or like what is the least value in the first column? One, right? So it will say, okay, one. And then whatever is associated in all the columns for that, it will return, right? In case there is a tie, right? So let's say there was another column called like one and let's say here it was five, right? So in case there is a tie, right? So one, one, okay, so it's fine. Oh, there is a tie. So now it will go to the second part and see, okay, we need to order by descending order. So then in that case, what will the output would be? One, five and then one, four, right? So that is what this does. But obviously, we don't need to do that. We need to order the first column independently of the second column, right? Here, it, there is a dependent, right? That if there is a tie in the first column, then only the second column will be arranged in descending order, right? So how to do that? So basically, if we can, you know, uh, rank, rank these two different columns, right? And store them in two different common table expression, right? And then perform a join, then we can achieve this. Let's see how, right? So what I'm saying is from this table, right? From this table, what we can do is we can order the first column is ascending order and then rank those columns, right? And since uh, the question all already says that there can be a duplicate because there is no primary key, right? So the ranking will also take care of that. Okay, so let me just remove this. What I'm saying is let's keep the first column, right? And then rank. Now ranking can be using row number, rank and dense rank. Let me know why we cannot use rank or dense rank in that case. Or if you can, how will the solution look like, right? So I'm going to use row number in this case, right? The basic reason being since there is no primary key, right? So you need to have like if you have one and one and one, let's say three times, you need to have rank one, two and three for these different ones, right? So that is why the, that is the main or the broad level reason for why I'm using row number over dense rank or rank, right? So row number and then since this is a window function, I write over clause and then order by the first column, right? First column in ascending order by default. And let's alias this as rank one, right? So this is, what will this give? Okay, first column, one, two, three, four, and then their ranks, right? One, two, three, four, five, whatever, right? Let's store this in a common table expression. So with CTE one as 
this entire thing goes into parenthesis similarly the exact same thing but now for the second column right so let me just copy paste here to save our time so ct2 now instead of first column it is going to be second column right uh, order by second column right order by second column but this time second column needs to be ordered by this in descending order right so second column order in descending manner this is rank 2 this is ct2 from data right so what will this have basically let me you know just copy paste it here so that you know we can you know have that so let me just copy this okay so this is how this common table expression one and common table expression two is going to look like right so since right right we ordered by first column in ascending order and then assigned rank right so one two three four so the rank is also going to be one two three four in common table expression two we are ranked by second column in descending manner right so four three two one so the rank is going to be one two three four so all you need to do now is if you just think about it right so here this is the first that is the least value from the first column so the rank is going to be one this is the maximum value from the second column and again the rank is going to be one so similarly if you just think about it the output is not nothing but rank one across both the columns rank two across both the columns rank three across both the columns rank four across both the columns right so that is what we have so if we just you know join this two common table expression on the rank and say that where ct1 dot rank 1 is equal to ct2 dot rank 2 so it is basically what it will do it will say okay 1 is equal to 1 right and you return first column from this well this table and second column from this table right so if you return that so it will say okay 1 is equal to 1 and you are returning first column right so it will return 1 and 4 in the output right one and four similarly it will say okay now after that then what is two so two okay so two and two so it will say okay two and three is returned right so two and three similarly for rank three right so three and three so it will return three and two right and similarly for rank four right so rank four and rank four so it will return four comma one so you see this is is going to be solved right so let me just do that so from this common table expression one let's left join common table expression two on ct1 dot rank one is equal to ct2 dot rank two right and you perform the join and then what we are doing is returning the first column from ct1 and second column from ct2 so let's return ct1 dot first column and ct2 dot second column okay let me remove this right let me re remove this and let's see what we are getting so if I run this, we are getting, okay, first column, second column, values 1, 4, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, 1, right? So this looks good. This is accepted. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yep, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it. Again, not that easy of a question, but if you think about it, if you can break it down into two different common table expressions and do this now if you uh, if you are thinking about this enough actually you don't even need to you know even break this into two common table expressions because in the same table right you can just put a comma here and write row number over order by second column dis decreasing as rank two so in one common table expression you can basically do a self join of that common table expression follow the same logic there is only going to be one additional clause here that that is going to come let me know in the comment section what that entire query will look like so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this problem let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video